Well, thank you for uh, watching my uh, video blog on my companion article. Disable protective mode in Adobe Flash Player with a script the easy way. Now, yeah. why did I do this? Real simple. People that are not computer savvy and people that are computer savvy don't want to go fumbling through system files and, and doing all this stuff manually. So I created a script that does it for you. Okay? I've seen this post posted on the Mozilla forums only about a million times on how to do this the manual way. And some people just aren't savvy and or comfortable enough to do this. That's why this was created. Okay. So after seeing all these long elaborate posts by these moderators and, and forum contributors or whatever, I, I just decided I'm going to do something for people, you know. Anyway, I, I, let's just get right down to it. You need to make sure that Adobe Flash Player is installed. And if you don't have it, you can get it right here. You just click on a link, it's going to open up the new page. Make sure you choose your operating system. Make And here's the more important part. There are two versions of Flash Player. One for Internet Explorer and one for other browsers. You need to make sure you choose the one for other browsers. Because if you don't, it's going to download the wrong version and you're still not going to have Flash. Please make sure this optional offer is unchecked. It's nothing more than bloatware. You don't need additional software on your machine because McAfee pays Adobe to write this code into their installer. Click the Download Now button. It'll show initializing. And in a couple seconds here, a dialog box will come up for a Save As. There we go. You need to go ahead and save this if you don't already have it installed or if you're not sure you can go ahead and save it and run it anyway. You can go ahead and save it. Make sure you close your browsers. Go to your downloads folder, which simply click on the folder icon down here and click on downloads. And it'll actually show up right here at the top if you have it sorted by date modified. Okay? It's that simple. I'm not going to install it because it's already installed for me. Let me go ahead and back out of here. There are a couple articles on this. One on the Firefox forms on how to do this, the manual way, and two in the Adobe forms, how to do it the manual way. So let's get right down to it. Here, right here is the link to download it. Go ahead and click on it. One click opens up in a new window. It's going to throw you off a little bit. It's going to bring up a readable form, and that's fine. It's no big deal. I'm going to go over a couple things on it real quick. The script is smart enough to tell you if you have 64-bit version of Windows or 32-bit version. If you have the 64-bit version, it's going to go. It's going to continue. The script is smart enough to tell you if you have Flash installed. If you don't have Flash installed, it's going to go to a line that's going to tell you to install Flash. The script is smart enough to see if this file is which is the file that's going to be modified is created if it's not which is basically what this is saying then it's going to go ahead and create the file in the correct location with the correct parameters it's that simple if the file does exist the script is going to continue and then basically what this is going to do is it's going to look for protective protected mode in this file config file if it finds it, it's going to create a variable, and the variable is called is complete, and it's going to set that variable to a numeric value of one. If it does not find it, it's not going to. It's going to be zero. Is the bottom line. This next if statement basically says, here's that variable. If it's greater than zero, which means if it's one, which means that it's already enabled it finds it in there, it's basically going to tell you that the protective mode is already on for the 64-bit version of Flash. But 
if it comes if it's not zero it's going to write that code into that file and then it's going to tell you that it's been enabled it's going to pause the script it's going to say press any key to continue and then you're going to exit so let's get right down to this first before we do anything i want to go ahead and go browse to the location of this file so it's in c windows System Wow 64, Macromed, Flash, and there's our file. Let's go ahead and open it up. Opening up the file, it shows you that there's nothing in there for protective mode. So let's go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and download the file and run it. Now you don't have to go through all this and open up this location. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. All you do is you go ahead and click the download button. And then you're gonna choose save file. And then we're gonna go ahead and click this button which is the Mozilla Download Manager. And then basically you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna choose open folder containing. As you can see, it's gonna open a folder up and there is a bat file or the batch file. I'm going to drag it to the desktop. Now, let me go ahead and close out of here. I encountered an individual who ran this file and it got an access denied. If you get an access denied, that means that you need to run this as an administrator. And he said, or she said, well, I'm already an administrator. Well, Obviously, you're not an administrator if it's telling you got access denied because this file is accessing system files. So, how do you get around it? Well, before we even get into that, we're just going to go ahead and right click and choose Run as Administrator. That's going to run this file in an administrative mode, which is going to write to the system files. Run as Administrator. Boom. Protective mode has been enabled for 64-bit version of Flash. So what did it do to the file? Right click, open it up. Protective mode is enabled. That's all there is to it. That's all that this script does. Hit continue, the, it, the line disappears. If you run it and protective mode is already enabled, it's going to tell you protective mode is already on for the 64-bit version of Flash. Thanks for tuning in.